Good morning and welcome to the rainy day. This is Windy Hill Kennel. If you're watching this on YouTube. And this is Dreamer's Kids. These are all sold. Uh, getting ready to go home. They were spayed and neutered yesterday um, by laser. They have, each one of them has about a quarter inch incision. The boys don't even hardly have a knot that shows and the girls have usually one stitch. So these guys are doing really good. It's so nice doing them at this age. It doesn't affect them at all. They never know they had it done and it's over and done with. It's wonderful to do it at this age. There's a lot of controversy out there about it. You can read all kind of junk on the internet, good, bad, and indifferent. But I'll tell you what, for all the years we've ever done it, we've not had issues. Uh, it does not change their personality. It just keeps them becoming bitchy like a girl when she comes in heat and a male hunting a female and hiking its leg. It does make the males squat uh, unless they play with the guy that hikes their leg and they learn how to do it from him. But um, other than that, it's a wonderful thing. So Vanessa did weights for me this morning. And of course I took the picture sideways so I'm having really a hard time reading it. Uh, the Merle with the red collar, which is the one close, it's the lighter of the two chocolates. I've determined one's a little darker and you can see the far side Merle, the one with the ball right now is the lighter of the two. And it has the red collar on. So, no, I'm sorry, it's the purple. Okay, there went that theory out the, the door really quick. The blue Merle in here with the red collar, I'm thinking chocolate on the brain, is the male. He's laying down, super easy to spot, 8 pounds, 11 ounces. He's a big boy. Uh, the black puppy has the neon green collar on, and I think he goes home tomorrow. So he won't be with us much longer. So we decided to get one more video in. He is 5 pounds, 5 ounces and ready to rock and roll and go home. The party Merle female in here is, oh, well, my phone just quit on me, Two pound, or six pounds, 2.2 ounces. And the chocolate Merle, okay, now we go down to this chocolate Merle thing. The chocolate Merle with the neon orange is the darker of the two puppies, and she's right there underneath me. And she is 7.6 pounds, and just nothing but a hairball. She has got more hair, both of them do like crazy. But that's the one with the orange collar. All right, so the other chocolate Merle in here is the purple collar, and she is six pounds, 2.5. And it's actually misting a rain out here right now. Um, it's been raining this morning. We're supposed to have rain off and on all day, so we're doing as many of these as we can, and I'm sorry that was shaky, um, before it really cuts loose. It's humid. It's foggy it's just one of those dreary fall days and the leaves are all pukey and sticking to everything <laughs> our kennel is starting to swim in leaves and we always dread fall because in the fall we blow leaves every week and we take out millions of leaves out of our kennel if you don't you can't clean puppy poop because you can't find it for the leaves so that's our job as soon as it dries out we're having a tug of war the guy in the middle is about to get flipped off his feet. There he got on his feet. This is really good for them. They're going to burn off this energy because they're going to be inside all day today. So until it rains a little bit more, they're going to be out here playing and then they're coming in. Um, everybody in this litter is picking up their puppy. So when you come to pick up, come clear around behind my home. I have a gray or a light silver van and my license plate says schnoodles. So look for the Schnoodles license plate. When you first pull up the driveway, you're going to see the employees' cars. Don't park over there. There's usually a red pickup and um, a gray car and uh, I don't know. I think Lacey got a new Dodge van. So that's the employees' parking. You've got a long way to walk and a long way to carry everything if you park there. So come around the house, turn to the right, drive clear over by the huge oak tree. My van sits right there and look for the license plate and park puppies are in the house with us so usually unless it's pouring down rain really enthusiastically we have the overhead door open uh, and we'll hear you when you come up too so um, just a note on when you get here also when you turn down my road it's going to say stop road closed it is we have our own private road now so down at the back of our property they took a bridge out 
and it's going to stay out permanently. So don't panic. My driveway is the first one on the left. Large home up on the hill with blue metal roofs. It's easy to spot. If you haven't seen it, go to the kennel information page. Um, at the, no, I'm sorry. Go to the left side of the website and click on visit our home and kennel and go down to the bottom of that page when you open it and there's pictures of our home what it looks like from the road so that you know what to look for uh these guys are current on everything they're going to get um they've had uh their wormings their puppy shots that they're old enough for right now uh their first dose of revolution which is a heart guard so everything's done been done uh toenails have been clipped They'll have a new bath the day that you pick them up. We'll give them a bath that morning. And that way they're clean when they go home. Um, we'll pluck your ears for you. Uh, the puppy's ears, that is. We'll pluck their ears for you. And we'll also show you how to do a hygiene clip and take the hair out of their face. So I have not trimmed their faces for about two weeks because I want you to be able to see how to do it. Because that is going to be a lifelong project for you. About every three to four weeks... If you don't keep the hair scooped away from their eyes, they get these gross, gooey boogers in the corner of their eyes from the tearing that their hair causes when it gets in their face. So that is something that you really do need to upkeep. Toenails also, we do every week uh, as puppies. You might squeeze two weeks by, but you're going to want not go any farther than that. Um, the more you do with them when they're little, put them up on a countertop, the top of a washing machine, someplace and brush them weekly take a pair of clippers and just rub them on their back running if you're not going to groom them it will make their life so much easier and the groomers life so much easier when you're at the groomers if they're used to a set of clippers and they don't freak out on her because it really is bad when they haven't been handled and they haven't had anything done to them it makes it really tough on them and tough on the groomer they're really am uh, having a great time with this stick anything unusual uh, that's the other thing when you get them home please don't call me and tell me they're eating everything in your yard they will it's a dog they're gonna eat sticks leaves snails rabbit poop um, they're gonna eat bird poop you name it and they're gonna get into it there's no way that you can keep them from it if you do they'll never have much of a life because that's a dog's life is to go out and root around your yard and find out what's good out there they'll also graze on grass like crazy um, all dogs do it, and I think there's a lot, there's chlorophyll in it, and I think it helps their stomach at times, um, but it's a natural part of, of a dog, so don't panic. So this will probably be the last video, uh, depends on, I'll have to look at the calendar and see how long everybody else is going to be from coming here, but, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed these guys and their photos, they've been a great a great lot of fun. I love this first litter from her. I love, 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 love it. Uh, could not be more pleased. She has earned a place with us for the next four years. Um, we do retire everybody at five years old, so unfortunately, whether we like it or not, uh, she'll go to a pet home uh, at around her fifth year. So um, it's just, it's nice for the dogs that way. Uh, we go through a a rescue out of Maryland they come down and pick everything up that we have and they usually have a waiting list on it because they we can tell them their personalities um, their likes their dislikes and so they're, they're really not a rescue type situation but for us it works good and it's really good for the rescue because the rescue we go to has a great reputation and she can tell them exactly what they're like and most rescues you just pull out of the shelter and you don't know anything uh, or you find it running loose and you don't know any history. So this is nice. We can give them family history, personality histories, and we know the kind of dog that we're sending to them to place in a pet home. So anyway, I will see all of you very soon. If you have any questions or want to know anything before you get here, please give me a call. Everyone should have gotten your email with your videos and your email with your vitamin information. If you have not, Please text me, let me know, and I will resend it out to you. Otherwise, we'll see a couple of you tomorrow, another one Saturday, and then the rest go home in a week or so. So, have a great weekend.